Welcome to my humble abode. I'm Yoki the Tail Spinner, and this is Tales Over Coffee. A morning show where we start the day with a cup of coffee and a narrative tale. In the hope of welcoming a blessed day. We return now to the very much non blessed days of Clementine and, uh, shall we say, group. Call it that at this point. In Telltale's excellent season two of Walking Dead. This may be the last episode of season two. Last part of season two. I'm not sure. But things are not good right now. We've lost Luke to drowning after a really stupid decision to walk across unknown ice instead of going around the bank. Or lake. So let's carry on from here. Uh, we've also had Clementine shot by Mike and Bonnie, two of the supposed group, who decided they were going to run away. Clem. And uh, well, Clementine. the Russian boy. I'm guessing now we are, since this is back season one, in a dream. We? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. I don't think. Plus, his mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? Yeah, we do. It sort of happened. I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his <laughs> pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Ah, uh, how our words can come back and haunt us. Lee? Hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? Mm -hmm. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. That's a dumb reason. You're right. It is. But it's true. Humans are dumb sometimes. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because humans are dumb sometimes. Bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. What do you think? Should we have left her behind? Maybe. She's kind of crazy. I don't know. She wouldn't make it very long out there alone. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. That's right. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Yeah, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? Nothing, really. Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> in a dream, she can still be fragile. I think she's denying herself more and more. And now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Yeah. 
And there ends the dream, I imagine. On the left! Slow down! Shut up! She's awake. Hey, you. Clem! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. I should have done something. They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Hmm. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howe's. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. Oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to house in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's you really are turning into a jackass. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. Oh, that you was a shut nice your game. fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? Then where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! <gasps> this is crazy! Ha! Uh, someone here's crazy, but it ain't me. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. He Everyone is right now. Talks about I agree you with behind that. Your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike? Bonnie? Sarita? Fucking liar! Not that, that ain't Jane's true. helping any. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it! I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Where the hell, you son of a bitch? Ah, uh, he's not looking at the road at all. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Oh, thanks to you. Kenny, I'm hey, wait, I'm helping on. things, but... You had a Go job around. to do, Kenny. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Oh, it's a rest, right. If you're going, go now. Kenny! Rest, Kenny. I wondered why they're all these cars together. But... That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? It does, but you're well, not all helping you're doing things. is just making it worse. You're just no, like that. him. No, I'm not. But you are both being Clem, assholes. As you leave right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? 
We got problems. We got walkers. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. Oh, maybe this they don't move in the cold Get doesn't work. Here. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit there. Oh crap. Oh, get out of there! The door is stuck! Shit! Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Clem, hurry! Get out! Hurry! I can't seem to move at all. Can I do anything with that with him? No. No movement keys working. Uh, rather, maybe. Uh, I don't see anything I can do here. Can't do anything with a window. What am I meant to do? Oh, okay, got it. Tiny little place. Oh, crap. Jane. Walk is all over. If I'd shot him, would have made noise. That could have alerted something. Although they may not be able to move, it may be that the cold is affected. Still seems like a great way to catch hypothermia and die yourself, though. Basically walking in a bloody blizzard. temperature there. Honestly, I don't even know where there is. Let's get inside at the rest stop. Oh, you Jane? idiot. Left him with her. What do you expect me to do? Yeah, Jenny needs to go. Okay. 
Kenny's a good guy, but he's so lost that Wait. it's just dangerous now. Oh, thank Christ! Jane, you okay? Where's Jane? the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's... What are you saying? No. Did you fall and they grabbed him? No. Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. What? No matter what happens, just stay out of it. What are you talking about? Okay? Just trust me, Clem. Stay out of what? Stay out of what? You have to trust me. You're gonna see what he really is. What are you talking about, Jane? What did you do? This is not good. Kenny, calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Get out of my way. Kenny? Ooh. How could you kill a fucking child? I didn't kill him. It was an accident, oh, Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! Jane, don't. Just don't. I'm not letting this crazy fuck anywhere near me, Clem. I don't need permission. The hell? Don't you Just put it away, Kenny. So Kenny get He's gone. He's gone. He's lost it. Fuck you. Seriously? Yeah, Kenny's dangerous. I don't know what the hell's going on, but Kenny is dangerous at this point. I knew you would. And he's trying to kill her? Yeah, Kenny, you're dangerous. You're done. Sorry, Kenny, I like you, but you are dangerous. And you cannot let someone that dangerous. Where's the... Where's my map set? Sorry, Kenny. I don't know what the hell Jane did. I'm sure she didn't kill the kid. But you went straight for the kill. Even when she put the knife away, you're going for the kill. You're done, Kenny. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm not liking Jane anymore e at the moment either. She had such a hard on for getting him that... Understandably, the way he was carrying on, but at the same time... She's not exactly my good books either. Made the right choice. Yeah, I know. I let you down. <laughs> yeah. I let everyone down. Why did you make me... Do this. I'm sorry, Clementine. We almost made it. Well, we he's going to be with Gok and Cat here now. <laughs> I thought I wanted this, asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening. I'm scared. <clears throat> it's okay, Kenny. You're, you're going.
going to see Katja and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Now, put one through his brain. Should have been where you aimed in the first place. Put one through his brain. He could turn. Or at least get out of there. He hadn't killed a child. I don't know what the hell's going on. Seems like she did something really stupid. And by the way, we've caught up to the last of the Let's Play that I've seen so far. So from here on, I won't know anything at all. Uh, whereas so far, I've misremembered a lot. <laughs> and chosen different routes where I could. But there is no further Let's Play from uh, Kristen Yard so far. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just going to try and talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Oh, that would probably be stupid. I'm sorry. Upset. You're fucking crazy. How could you do this? I had to do it, Clem. No, you didn't. You saw how he reacted. I had to show you what he was capable of. So you put AJ in danger and got my friend killed just to prove a point? It was a stupid plan. Yeah. I should never have liked him. No. But I thought it was the only way you would see me. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. I don't Plus, know that we can survive alone. We're free He is still a survivalist. I forgive you, Jane. I don't know how long I'm willing to be with her if there's someone else, but... Thank you. That was you, stupid. You were right about Kenny. He was. All along, we you fair. knew what he was going to do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. I'm 100% certain on some of you watching that that will be an extremely unpopular choice on my part. Let me be clear. Kenny was a good guy, but he'd lost it. He was dangerous. That's the problem. She's being a bloody idiot, like she was with the ice. Expect more from her how she's been so far. He's dropped, in my opinion, vastly. Penny had lost it. Even when she put the knife away, he went to kill her. I'm sorry. I like Kenny, he's a good guy, but no. At that point he's not just a liability, he's an outright danger. Oh, Can't this looks interesting. Here. Come on. Good. I don't know how you were able to watch that. Oh, we're back with uh, Carl's group. I've seen worse. Besides, he earned it. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. Yeah. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. What's that? Clem. Come on. They don't look armed. Oh. Oh, that was Luke this for a minute. Your place? Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. And we've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? <laughs> She's 11 years old. Where look you been? Why do you care? Well, Hello. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. Everywhere. All over. 
You, uh, been up north? Yeah. Yeah, us too. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Ah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. They could be anybody. They could. Do we really want to go through this again? They could be anybody. But a please. group can do more work. We'll die out here. An individual Just give can. us a chance. Come in. Thank you. This could go really, no, really badly. We don't even know if he's bit. This could go sure really, this? really this badly. This place is a mess, and I don't know how long that food will last. It'll take a lot of work. I'm not sure about anything anymore. It's not much. But we'll make it better. For adult, well, I think when is an adult she's 11 years old. Just keep your eyes on him. I'll be fine. Three adults and two children, especially when one of the children is more competent than many adults. And do a lot more than one adult and one child carrying a baby. My name's Patricia. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Okay. Of course. I don't think it's happened in a long time. Carrying a gun. Oh, she is. But then, why wouldn't they be? Cool hat. Yeah, thanks. And that's the end of season two. Once again, I apologize to those of you who didn't like what I did to Kenny. He was outright dangerous. Even when she put the knife away, he just went for the kill. All right, protected the baby. Just over half of us did. Surprise only that. Uh, went to help Luke. Two thirds of us, yes. Uh, did not try to help Luke. We we tried to help him by keeping the zombies off. If they'd got onto the ice, it would have broken anyway. Loyalty asked to leave with Mike. You and four out of five didn't ask to leave with Mike. They're willing to betray us like that. Why would we want to leave? Them? Got Kenny. Just over half, but so close it's irrelevant. 49.1 to 50.9. Uh, shot Kenny. That went 50-50. And that's understandable. Kenny has been a very loving, uh, very lovable person. But since he lost his wife and child, then Sarita, etc., etc., he's lost it. And there was no coming back. Not the way he was acting. We can't afford to have someone that dangerous around. He would have got us killed, most likely. Whatever happens in the game after this, if we kept him alive, I don't care. I actually know what happened at the end of Season 2 because, as I say, I chose a different route to Chris and Yord. And I know what happens, and I know Kenny can be self-sacrificial at the end. But logically, at the point at which he's willing to kill someone who has put a knife away because he didn't even check whether a baby was dead but assumed, that's not someone you can afford to have around in a situation like this. In the end, who are you with? You and a fifth of people are with Jane and the family. The family concerns me. They look good. That could be tricks. 
They are dangerous, but a good addition to the group if they prove to be good. Um, Jane and I, or Jane and Clem, should sleep in shifts. Make sure that they can cover themselves against the family if something goes wrong. We also kind of need to get more guns on the show, so that they can each have a gun. Well, my friends, that's the end of Season 2. Join me next time for Season 3. In the meantime, enjoy your coffee. Have a blessed day. Thank mm -hmm. you.